The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, Director of Soccer, Richard Moody. We continue debuting the soccer schedules today. It's the men's team, and uh, Richard, much like the women's schedule, the first part of the month, or first part of the season, uh, you're at home pretty much for the entire month of September. Men's squad a little bit more veteran than your women's team. Uh, how are things different with that in mind, being at home pretty much for the first six games of the season with a uh, group of guys who know the program? Yeah, we've, we've got a lot returning. In fact, next year I think we graduate 12. But uh, the recruiting changed a little bit. You know, we've a very young team coming in uh, that, that you would like to think are going to work and learn off, like you said, these veterans. Uh, but we, we seem to struggle at home a little bit uh, with the men. And we're off to a rough start, of course, the incident in Tampa didn't help. And then St. Leo, we came home and lost the King. And then we start picking it up and, uh, and got the ball rolling slowly. But again, that was always something hard to recover. So like I said, with the women's schedule, the idea was, right, if we can get off on the right foot uh, and then we're in control, then it's only us that can, you know, it's, it's much easier to play out like that and play out the season like that versus trying to recover from the, you know, three losses on your schedule and then you're trying to jump back and get on a national tournament and stuff. You know, we're, we're, we've been a team that's always wanted to compete nationally, I think, on the men's side. It's been the number one goal and even on the women's, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. Uh, but for the men this year, I think we've got to be looking ultimately on focusing in on the conference. And, and uh, you know, the message has been received loud and clear that it seems if you can win our conference, you're in the national tournament, you know, and that's, that's been the trend over the last few years. So I think our focus needs to be... Uh, uh, on conference matchups uh, for sure this year. So, Not only some tough teams in league and your uh, win gates, Marza was pretty solid last year, not to mention Tusculum, who uh, won the conference tournament, but you load up the non-conference schedule with some really challenging teams. Young Harris, which has been at or just below the number one spot in the country each of the last two years, a late October match up with the Mountain Lions. What do you hope to accomplish by playing such staunch in region competition throughout the year? You got, you got to play good teams. I mean, uh, what almost shot us in the foot in 2013 was when we, when we made the schedule, uh, we, we did it based on the trend of the, the teams the year prior. So in 2012, teams that had done well, and in 2013, they didn't do well. And our strength of schedule almost hurt us and didn't get us in the tournament. And so strength of schedule is important. Uh, Marky McKeever, Don Young Harris, he's a great coach. He's a good friend, uh, and I just want to beat him. And so that's why <laughs> Young Harris will always be on the schedule. Uh, and they're a great team, and, uh, and you've got to play the best. Uh, uh, you've got to beat the best. And uh, for, us, for us competing in a national tournament, you know, uh, uh, if that's a level that we're trying to compete at here, then, then we've got to beat teams like that on the schedule. So oh, the competition outside is definitely challenging, but it's, it's not too bad either. You know, we've got teams like Belmont Abbey and mm -hmm. such on there, USC Aitken, uh, who are all good teams and strong programs. But for us early on, I think those are – competitive matches but not to the same extent as a Tampa and a St. Leo and such so uh, great programs on the schedule and definitely uh, a good strength of schedule on our part. You're talking about playing at a national level how do you hope this schedule sets you up to return to the form that this club was in uh, in 2013 during that NCAA tournament run to the title game? One step at a time. We're going to just focus on the conference and see how we how we end up. And for us, uh, you know, we got a lot to prove. I think that any any team and any coach can win one thing in their career. And for us, that's not who we are and what we're trying to do. You know, we want we want a great program here. We want to build a foundation. And I think that we're still, although the 13 season helped us, I think we took a step backwards last year. And for us, we've got to focus in uh, what I think is the, the most difficult Division II conference in the country. And so I think that we've got to focus there, work hard, and, and get the first few games right. Of course, we play the likes of uh, Lenore Ryan early on, and uh, the schedule's changed in such a way we play Wingate now later on versus yeah. earlier on. Uh, and I think that's, that's going to help us. That's going to help us quite a bit because it seems like uh, – you know, we want to be playing for something towards the end of the season. And if we've got those kind of, I think one of the biggest playoffs in the, the, the conference is Wingate versus Carson Newman on the men's side. I think that's one of the big games. And to have that early on in the conference matchup didn't make sense. But now at homecoming here at home for us, I think it's a great time. Later on in October, it'll be a, a good match. Moody, thanks for the time. Good luck this year. Thanks, man. Carson Newman, head men's and women's soccer coach, Richard Moody. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is seeingeagles.com.